right, section 7.4 continue. We're talking about a zero exponent. As long as our base does not equal zero, anything to the zero power is equal to one. Now we do have to be careful of that opposite of a number um, raised to a power thing here, and we're gonna call that out in a, an example or two here. So our first one, um, two to the zero power, anything to the zero power is always one. One half to the zero power, anything to the zero power is always one. Aha! Uh -huh. Tricky one, this one says the opposite of two to the zero power. That is gonna be a negative one, right? Because this is the opposite of, and this is two to the zero power, so a negative one. Now this one is going to put in order of operations too. This says the opposite of one to the zero power, which is a negative one, minus one to the zero power, which is a one as well. So this says a negative one plus a negative one, which is a negative two. And that's our final answer there. Now that's opposed to uh, part E here, where it says a negative number raised to the zero power. That's one minus one to the zero power, which is one, and one minus one, which is zero. And then part F, anything to the zero power is always one. Doesn't matter what's in here, right? X could be 2,500,000 plus 0 .0002. And that number raised to the zero power is still going to be one. It doesn't matter what X and Y are. Whenever you add them, they're gonna be a number and any number to zero power is always going to be one. All right, next is our product rule. When you multiply like bases, we add the exponents. That's basically what the, uh, the product rule of exponents say. So for the next problem, we have x squared times x cubed. Well, that means we're going to add these exponents. So we're gonna copy the like base and two plus three, which is equal to five. Now, when we throw this into it, this is actually a monomial times a monomial. And we use the associative property in order to multiply monomials times monomials. We associate the things that are alike, the negative 2 and the, negative, and the positive 5, and the a squared and the a, and then the b and the b. And in order to do this, we're going to multiply numbers. Negative times positive is a negative, 35. A squared times an A, 2 plus, and don't forget that we have a 1 exponent here, so A to the third power, and then a B, and then 1 plus 1, which is squared there. And that's what that looks like. We'll do more of those a little bit later. Now, even when the base is a number, it's still the same. We copy the like base and we add the exponents. 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. Now, when you have that large of an exponent, I'll never ask you to simplify it. You don't have to worry. Okay, and our final one, doesn't matter how many of the like bases you have, you still add all their exponents up. So we have 7 plus five, 8, which is 15, plus 5 more, which is 20. So this is y to the 20th power. You just copy in that one like base and adding all the exponents. Next is our quotient rule. Our quotient rule says that whenever we have like bases and we're dividing, we're going to take the numerator exponent and subtract the denominator exponent. So we'll simplify the following. So we see we have division of like bases, numerator, minus denominator exponent a to the fifth power. When we have monomials involved, the same thing, division of the numbers, 2 divided by 1, which is 2, and numerator exponent minus denominator b squared, 2b squared there. The next one, same thing we have in part c here, copy the like base, numerator minus denominator power, to the sixth. Monomials involved, you can think of it as division or canceling. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 16 divided by 2 is 8, and we have 1 power here and minus 3. And so we're going to have a b to the negative 2 power over 8 here. Now this one, that we're going to learn about later on. But for now, we'll leave that, that this is not simplified. And I want you to make sure that you realize that that is actually not simplified because it will become important a little later on. All right, now the next one here, even when we have complicated bases, it's still numerical.